Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new match day experience here on the channel. I'm James and it's going to be setting off to Villa at home. Second Tuesday game in a row and well next week we'll have the third Tuesday game in a row obviously drawing Millwall in the cup but in this one today it's going to be Aston Villa at home in the league. A very important fixture in my opinion uh, as I believe we potentially could pick our first win up of the season. Uh, obviously, it's only been two games so far this year, uh, and we're just one coming in at the third. Uh, but I think it could be a really interesting game, this uh, one. Villa bringing down 4K fans, and in my opinion, it's going to be a really vital thing that we score early on to <sighs> frustrate the Villa fans, because as soon as they're frustrated, they're going to be on the players' backs. And that's something recently that Villa have not been able to cope with. Um, obviously losing 3-0 to Cardiff at the weekend. Reading are going to be looking to take advantage of that. But at the same time, Villa are going to want to come back and bounce back strong. Uh, obviously losing that game 3-0. They're going to want to come back and they're going to want to, well, obviously get a result. But it's going to be a difficult one and I can see it swinging either way. But I'm going to go with a 1-0 win to Reading. I said it in the prediction league. I've said it in the preview. A 1-0 win to Reading. Uh, and I've got Stephen Quinn to get the goal. So obviously you guys have already seen the game. Tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. There are a few rumours as well that filming's allowed back in grounds. Uh, I'm not going to film back in grounds at the moment. Uh, up until I actually get the confirmation that we can. Uh, obviously previously having emails from the EFL themselves saying that I can't. Um, but yeah, I'll wait until that. But in, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, yeah, tell me what you guys thought about the game down in the comment section below. I always appreciate it. See what you guys think about the game. And uh, yeah, we're going to be going with Collar today. Going to be obviously getting Adam's opinions and all things like that. Uh, so yeah, fingers crossed we can pick the win up against Villa. And uh, yeah, I'm going to see you guys all in a little bit. All right, Adam. So we're in the same bit as usual. <laughs> um, walking down the same bit. Give us what you think about the game today. I mean, I'm a bit more confident today, but give me what you think. Uh, I'm not very confident to be honest with you. I don't feel like we're going to win. I uh, feel like 2 1 loss, possibly. Uh, I think they got. I know the main man, Ben John Terry. Yeah, 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 you think he's going to have a big game today, don't you? I reckon he is, to be fair, but I don't know anything can happen. We, we haven't got any strikers, not really. Not really. Um, Side heart Joseph Mendes, to be honest with you. Yeah, I know. I mean, I said he was our only striker that we have, really, so. Yeah. It's the only one we kind of have to play, but if you had to go for a score position, 2 1 Villa then. Yeah, 2 1 Villa, I'll say. 2 1 Villa. Who do you reckon is going to get the goals then? John Terry, too. <laughs> is that the, really the only Villa player you know? Is John Terry not Gavi Agbonlo? Jack, Jack Greenish. Jack Greenish. I think he's injured at the moment, so I don't think we're going to see any uh, Greenish today. Okay. That's, that's why I feel like we're going to be able to get a win in this one, just because Villa, I think, at the moment, despite him having a strong squad and a lot of depth, they're a little bit weaker today. No Grealish, no Codger. So I think we might be able to take advantage of that, but still, so you're going 2 1 Villa, yeah? Yeah, 2 1 Villa. 2 1 Villa, yeah. Okay, the thoughts of Connor in a second as well. Right, and once again, Connor's with us. Seems like you're a bit of a Tuesday night merchant, uh, only coming to Tuesday night games. I think that might be the case, <laughs> actually. Uh, but yeah, Tuesday night game again. Uh, obviously, last performance you saw was Gillingham 2 0. Uh, we got to think about it today, though. Um, obviously, you've got Villa at home today. Um, your thoughts on the game, and um, well, you want to see kind of play today? Well, to be honest, I do think it's going to be a tricky game. Both sides are really weakened. Um, but I'm going to go. Reading are going to win the game, that's for sure. 2 uh, 1. Scott Oak can score for them, and I'm going to go um, George Evans to score, and if right, we start with this, and um, Joseph Mendes. Um, I do think that Villa's back line of Terry, Samba, <laughs> and um, uh, Alan Hutton. I, I think that's a bit too too hard, if you ask me. Yeah, no, I mean, they're not bad defenders, they've just got no real pace about them. I mean, yeah, I think yeah, that's something we could kind of take advantage. I mean, James Chester's there at the back for him. I don't know if he's going to start. I mean, he had a poor game against Cardiff, so will Bruce want to play him? Let's talk of Bruce playing five at the back as well. Usually that's a bit of a desperation formation, but it's what we play. And, well, we suit it well, so you never know what's going to happen in this game. But, uh, yeah, so final score prediction, you going for it in 2-0? Yeah, 2-1. Oh, 2-1. Yeah, 2-1. So reverse from Adam. Yeah. Let's see what we can do, though. Go on, Brilliant. Team sheet for the evening then, we've got Manoni, Gunter, Blackett, McShane, Moore, Vandenberg, Kelly Swift, Clement, Barrow and Popper. And on the bench we've got Jacola, Beerins, Evans, Mendes, McCleary, Bakuna and Ilori. Strange lineup from Stam, uh, it's a really strange lineup actually. We've decided to go just for pace, pace and pace. Uh, Adam, I mean, it looks like a difficult lineup that we're playing, a difficult team. Why have we gone for this one? Is he just going for pace because of Villa's back line? Uh, possibly. 
Well, he could be wrestling players, not really sure to be honest, but yeah. A little bit more confident seeing the lineup. Uh, not really happy with Popper, I don't really rate him very much, but <laughs> you know, yeah, this is yeah, this is sort of a pacey team, so hopefully Swift can prove himself today. Yeah, I mean we've got McCleary and Beerens on the bench as well, so I think this cross McCleary can come back, but I mean it's a really strange one, I don't know why we've gone for it. Hopefully it pays off that goal well, 4K fans on a Tuesday night. I should say fair enough, really. There's nothing really else to say about that. Fair play to the Villa fans. It's the wheelbarrow, come on! 2-0 down! 2-0 down, my lord! 2-0 down! 2-0 down, my lord! 2-0 down, my lord! 2-0 down! Oh, it feels good to finally have three points, doesn't it? Um, yeah, good win in the end. I thought Redden played really, really well. Um, really good performance. Uh, I thought the standout players, in my opinion, uh, were Paul McShank. I thought he had an absolutely outstanding game at the back today. Uh, other players, Modu Barrow, again, fantastic by him. Uh, I thought he played really well. Uh, Adrian Popper as well, surprised me. Um, me and Adam both said it in the past. Ah, he's probably not the best technically and probably not the best player overall. But he worked really hard tonight and played really well. Uh, his goal's probably going to go down as a known goal, but he worked really well for that. Um, great little burst of pace, great little solo goal. So, yeah, big fair place to Adrian Popper. Um, that second goal was just oh, it was beautiful, wasn't it? Straight off the uh, training ground from the corner technique. Um, out to Swift. Swift, I think it was Liam Moore, not 100% sure. Moore shoots slash crosses it in to Modu Barrow. Barrow in the back of the net, 2 0. Disappointed Manoni couldn't get his first clean shoot, but it was a nice clean strike by Hurahan. Put the ball in the back of the net for Villa, but overall, I thought it was a really good performance by Reading. Um, Villa only had 33% possession in the end, so we really did stick to our game plan well. Surprised at Villa, really thought they would come and attack us, but just sat deep and did absolutely nothing. Just sat deep and that was it. Stan Collymore right now is not a happy man. Going absolutely mental on Twitter. Um, yeah, saying the Villa players are not fit to wear that shirt. And in my opinion, they really didn't play that well for a club that's got so much history. Villa really didn't play that well. Um, and they haven't really done well since they came down to the championship. But anyway, what's going to happen? Um, maybe Bruce will be gone by the end of September. But it's going to be a thought of video today, guys. Hopefully you've all enjoyed. It's going to be the last match day experience for a while. As, uh, yeah, international break and uh, away games coming up, but I can't make. Uh, will be match reviews, though, on them ones, uh, which I will, well, sit down and talk to you guys about. So it's going to be a thought of video today, guys. Hopefully you've all enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, I've been James. Hope to see you guys all for the previews of some games coming up very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.